The National Super Alliance insists it will boycott the August election should the appellate court overturn a high court finding that presidential results announced at the constituency are final. The electoral body IBC appealed the ruling, insisting it has the powers to verify the results at the National Telling Center. And so tonight on Spotlight 2017, political affairs reporter Murimi Mwangi interrogates why the high court ruling and the subsequent IEBC appeal have attracted such immense political interest and he also explains why vote telling is such a critical matter for the two top presidential contenders. In his vigorous warm-up ahead of the August 8th elections, Jubilee Party's President Uhuru Kenyatta and the Raila Odinga-led National Super Alliance have clashed over a highly emotive matter. <laughs> A standoff originating from the April 7th verdict by High Court judges Weldon Korir, Agrim Chelule, and Checha Mwita that presidential results declared by a constituency returning officer are final and can only be questioned by the election court. In this case, the Supreme Court. But the Kenyan electoral body IEBC challenged the ruling before the Court of Appeal, insisting that it has a mandate to audit, approve, or disapprove and to check for errors after receiving presidential results from the 290 constituency returning officers. The appeal is due for hearing on the 6th and the 7th of June. The judiciary, the judges and the magistrates understand their role. They will decide cases on the facts under the law, on the basis of the facts presented before them under the law. But it is unfortunate that IEBC, instead of keeping to its narrow path, has made a determination on uh, its part to be dictated to what to mount legal challenges over. No political leader or any citizen can be denied, or any institution can be denied the right to go to the courts. So by telling IEBC withdraw, court is trying to intimidate. Blackmail, IBC. Asante sana, In 2013, Kenyatta lifted the presidential trophy at round one after exceeding 50% of the votes cast by a meager 0.07%, this translating to about 8,000 votes. <laughs> And the political interest drawn to the case initially filed at the High Court by civil activists Maina Kiai, Halef Khalifa, and Tirop Kitur somewhat illustrates the deep suspicion that exists between the camps of the two top presidential contenders ahead of the highly anticipated Kenyatta Odinga August 8th rematch. We know what they're doing. They're putting a tiling center somewhere in Tanzania. They want to hack into the IB system. Uh, they want to post uh, results which are fake. But I'm sure IBC is prepared for them, and us as their competitors, we are prepared for them. This is the only opposition in the world that has been accused by a sitting government of having the capacity to rig. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, stories of Bunwasi. You never hear them in any in any democracy, absolutely. So I, I think we must uh, take the, the allegations by the majority leader with a pinch of salt. By 6th June, when the appellate court is slated to hear the IEBC appeal, it will be exactly 61 days to the polls. Analysts argue that a subsequent appeal at the Supreme Court is highly inevitable, given the high political stakes on both sides of the case. And some observers are warning that the verbal crossfire currently being directed at the courts over the IEBC appeal could be unhealthy, given that only the Supreme Court can hear any presidential election petition filed after the August elections. We should stop hearing this noise from NASA. 
that all decisions or certain decisions must go their way is the hate of, uh, I think, um, undemocratic um, practices. As Chief Justice, I'm not going to respond every time to statements made by anybody in the, in the, in the, in the public, especially as we go to the campaign uh, period. With a separate petition by NASA also pending before the High Court challenging IEBC's recent reshuffle of constituency returning officers, the judiciary will no doubt remain longer on the political discourse as the 2017 campaigns intensify. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, in Nairobi.